This video captures the various activities that take place on an Irish dairy farm throughout the year. The farm is located outside Tipperary Town in an area known as the Golden Vale that is famous for its rich grazing land. Peter Hughes and his nephew Paul Maguire operate the farm. The farm is beside the Limerick to Waterford rail line and the Galti Mountains are to the south. Cows grazing on grass in a paddock within a field. Drinking water is provided in troughs from a well on the farm. Cows drink between 60 and 110 litres per day. The cows are grass fed and give milk which is processed into naturally great tasting cheese, butter and milk powder. The dairy herd is spring calving. Dairy farmers aim to produce as much milk and grass as possible. The rotational grazing system is used where the cows are moved between paddocks in the fields as needed or on a regular basis. Electric fences surround the paddocks. There are 20 paddocks that are generally rectangular in shape. Farm tracks and farm roads connect the farmyard with the paddocks. The roads are made from granular fill. The stocking rates on farms in the region is 3 cows for every 2 acres. Cows in the region generally produce 1,000 200 gallons of milk per year. The breed of cows is Holstein Frisians, known as high production dairy cows. A milking cow will eat about 17 kilograms of grass per day. Cows are milked twice a day, early in the morning and in the evening. In the region, the average herd size is 80 cows heifers grazing in a paddock. The farmyard comprises milking parlour, slatted sheds with cubicles and feeding barrier, slurry tanks, sheds for calves, storage for silage bales and silo to store meal. The milking parlour is a 14 unit system where 14 cows in a row are milked. The milker works in a pit between the two rows. The parlour is a swing-over herringbone design. Cows walking from a paddock to the farmyard along a farm road. The cows in the collection yard before the milking parlour. Fitting a filter to the line before the milk enters the bulk tank. The milk is pre-cooled to a temperature of between 16 and 18 degrees Celsius. The milker opens the gates allowing the cows to enter the row. 14 cows enter the line from the collecting yard. Cows are fed with meal. It takes about one hour and ten minutes to milk the cows. The cows stand side on to the milker and the clusters are applied between the cows hind legs. cows entering the second row. The meal travels from the silo through pipes fitted with plexi augers to the feeders hoppers. Moving the clusters between the cows in the two rows. The milking machine is made up of the following. Vacuum pump, milk line and pump, wash line, air line, receiver jars, test points and milk filter and pre-cooler. The cow's teats are sprayed with disinfectant before leaving the parlour. The milker opens the exit gates and the cows leave the parlour.
After milking, the floors and clusters are washed down using a power hose. The milk is stored in a stainless steel refrigerated bulk tank that has a capacity of 6,000 litres to store the milk from five milk kings. The milk is collected every three days by a lorry with a tanker early in the morning at four o'clock and delivered to the milk processing plant in Tipperary Town. Calves are fed with milk from the parlour twice a day for 12 weeks. The cows calve in the months of February and March. 90% of the cows calve in a six week period. 20% of the heifer calves are kept as replacement cows. The balance of the heifer calves along with the bull calves are sold. Feeding calves with nuts The bull calves are sold at four weeks of age in the Tipperary Town cattle market on Thursday evenings. The heifer calves are sold privately. Calves grazing in a field with the Galtee Mountains in the background. Breeding calves. Dairy cows are bred to produce large quantities of milk. Cows need to produce calves in order to make milk. Artificial insemination. AI is the process of collecting sperm cells from a bull and manually depositing them in the reproductive tract of a cow. The sperm is stored in straws in cylinders at minus 90 degrees Celsius. Cows are inseminated in the months of May and June, so they will calve in February and March. In the spring, the fields can be uneven with hoof marks and ruts from vehicles. Rolling the damaged field levels the surface. Soil fertility. To increase and improve grass growth, samples of the topsoil are taken and sent to a laboratory for analysis and a recommendation as to what fertilizer to use to correct any deficient nutrients. Also, if lime is required to correct the soil's acidity. The soil is tested every three to five years. Loading and spreading lime is done once every five to 10 years. Emptying a concrete slurry tank under the slatted floor of a cubicle shed where cows are kept in the winter months. Slurry in the underground concrete tank is agitated using a tractor and slurry mixer to blend the solids and liquid. The propeller agitator is driven by the tractor's power takeoff. Using a tractor and slurry tanker to suck the slurry out of the underground concrete tank transport it to the fields and spread it on the land. The slurry is a fertilizer that improves grass growth.
spreading artificial fertilizer granules that are made by the oil and gas industry. Silage. Making plastic wrapped silage bales for winter feed with the grass cut from topping paddocks that is done to improve grass quality. The grass is cut using a disc mower. The grass is allowed to dry for 36 hours. A rotary tether is used to shake out the cut grass so it will dry quicker. A rotating rake gathers the cut grass in rows. The baler picks up the grass, makes circular bales and wraps the bales in plastic film. The bales of silage are taken from the field and stored in the farmyard using a tractor with forks fitted to the front and the back. The bales are stacked in the farmyard's storage area. The bales are carefully handled to avoid tearing or puncturing the plastic film. Cows are housed and fed indoors during the winter and at times of inclement weather. The cows lie in the cubicles and eat through the feeding barrier. The floor of the shed is a suspended concrete floor with long slots over an underground concrete slurry tank. A cow eats one and a half tons of silage per month. Placing silage along the feeder barrier in the feeding passageway. The coldest months are January and February. Hedge cutting takes place in the months of September to February when the birds are not nesting and bees are not feeding on flowers and pollinating other flowers. Spraying the road verge to control the growth and spread of weeds. Cutting grass along the road verge to improve lines of sight. Making it safer for tractors and livestock to leave the fields. Land drains. Cleaning and deepening open land drain along the field boundary. Install shallow land drains. Excavate, lay perforated plastic pipe and backfill with drainage stone.
shown are the construction methods, sequence and machinery, along with a commentary that explains in a straightforward and easily understood way the operations. Farm road construction. Excavate the grass sod and topsoil and load onto tipping trailer. Tractor with tipping trailer carts the excavated material to fill depressions in the field. Tipping, spreading and compacting granular road making material that was sourced from a nearby quarry. Spreading crushed shale on the stone filled surface. The shale is soft on the cow's hooves. Electric fence construction. Distribute timber posts along the line. Drive the timber posts using the track excavator. Fix the wire using plastic insulators with staples to the timber posts. The milk is supplied to the Tipperary Cooperative where it is processed into butter, cheese and milk powder that is sold in European countries, the Republic of Ireland and worldwide. The fresh milk is unloaded, cooled, stored in tanks and tested. In the cheese making facility, the milk is pasteurized. Enzymes is added to the milk to form curd. The curd mat is milled and sprayed with salt. The curd is pressed into blocks and stored to allow the cheese to mature. In the butter making facility, the cream is separated from the milk. The cream is placed in a rotating drum where butter granules form. Salt is added, the butter is shaped, wrapped and stored and delivered. In the buttermilk and skim milk powder facility, the milk is passed through an evaporating vacuum tank where 80% of the moisture is removed. Then it is injected under pressure into a drying tower where it is mixed with hot air to evaporate the remaining moisture, leaving a powder that is packaged in bags for delivery. Tipperary Cooperative sponsor local community events. An example is the annual Tipperary Festival, where churn racing takes place. Plastic wrapped round bale silage making at the Tipperary Cooperative Research Farm in Solahead. Raking and baling equipment at work. Making pit silage outside cashel, self-propelled silage harvester loading a silage tipping trailer.
tractor with silage trailer, followed by a tractor with dual rotary rakes. In June, a dairy farm walk took place. Hosting a farm walk is a way of sharing knowledge and showcasing how things are done on the farm with other farmers. Topics discussed on the farm walk included fertilizer program to achieve optimum soil fertility, resulting in more grass and increased milk yields, measures taken to ensure milk quality, steps taken to ensure sufficient grazing and silage, breeding program to breed the best replacement cows. A number of information boards displayed the key performance indicators, lessons learned and were used to highlight and discuss issues. The day was a success. Farmers went away with the sense that they learned some practical information that was tried and tested on the farm or what they already knew was reinforced by the visit. In June, an urban grassland farm, 58 acres in size, was put up for auction. Also included was a small bungalow and two cattle holding sheds with yards. The farm was used for beef fattening. The highest bid was 620,000 euros. The seller would not accept the bid. After the auction, a price was agreed with the highest bidder. Mass in the farmyard. A mass takes place every year in the farmyard. The local community group looks out for the care of the sick and the old in the community. Clear litter from the roadside. Look out for crime including suspicious behaviour and campaign for speeding vehicles to slow down. Ring Fort North of the farmyard there is the remains of a 2,500 year old ring fort. Ring forts were ancient circular settlements enclosed by a defensive earthen bank topped with a timber palisade fence. A water filled ditch would have been the first line of defence. Entrance to the fort was over a bridge. The residents would have lived in timber huts. Cattle would have been kept in the fort overnight to protect them from wolves and raiders. The ring fort is an archaeological and historical feature on the farm and is evidence of the many generations of farming communities who have made their living from the land. Hedgerows with trees are a feature on the farm and are beneficial as they provide shelter for the cows, cut down wind speed, provide nesting and corridors for birds and wildlife. Paperwork takes a lot of time. Example of records are receipts for all purchases and expenses are filed, details of medical checks, vaccinations, breeding, farm materials, animal foodstuff and equipment is a purchase from the Tipperary Cooperative stores. The veterinary surgeon's role is to care for the health and welfare of cows, heifers and calves and other animals. Other types of farming carried out in the region include beef farming, where cattle are raised for meat production.
bullocks grazing beside the river shore. Sheep farming. Flock of sheep includes rams, yaws and lambs. Lambs are reared for meat and wool. Horse breeding. Mares with their foals. Tipuri is home to the world's largest thoroughbred operation. Cross country event where horses jump walls, clay banks, gates, and open land drains. Tillage. Footage showing barley ploughing, seeding and harvesting. Ploughing and seeding takes place in the months of April and May, harvesting in late August and early September. Barley is used for animal feed. The best way to capture and share knowledge is by video with a commentary, because 80% of what we hear and see we can relate to, understand and retain against 20% of what we read. Forestry takes place on the slopes of hills and mountains and lowland areas with marginal soils. There are a number of local agricultural shows that take place in the summer months where farmers get to exhibit their livestock and horses and compete in various competitions for prizes. Agricultural shows are an important part of the cultural life in rural Ireland. Shows are generally one day annual events that are open to the public where equipment, animals, sports and recreational activities associated with agriculture are exhibited. Press the subscribe button to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Click on the cards to see my other similar videos. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.